Hello, hey everyone, welcome to Sleepy Radiology Classes. And I promise it will be easy for you. Hello everyone, welcome to Sleepy Radiology Classes again. I hope you all are fine and staying in home. So far we were discussing about the various types of personal monitoring device which we are using in radiation field. So the first type we were using was the flame batch. So you can see here this is the flame batch with a dosimeter device. It is used to mainly record the doses which a radiographer receives. And what I said in my last video was flame batch was mainly recording the doses based on density. So more the black the image more will be the doses received by the individual. Jitna black hoga flame utna zada doses ek individual ne receive kiya hai. So next we moved on TLD batch and the main purpose of TLD batch was to record the doses as flame batch was getting paid to temperature and humidity. So TLD batch was brought in the field and it was using the heating device to get the report and the reports were in the form of glow curve. So the main reports of TLD batch was what? It was glow curve. Glow curve was giving the report higher the glow value, higher the curve value, more will be the dose received by the individual. So while we are using the TLD batch, I forgot to say that we have two types of batch. One for the individual, another is a control batch. And the control batch is kept of the department area where there is no radiation. That is mainly to record the background emitted radiation. Jo background emitted radiation hota hai, unhi ko measurement karne ke liye hamara control batch use hota hai. To wo control batch hamesha individual batch ke saathi aate hai aur har kisi ko ye responsibility lena hai jo department uh, head hota hai ki us control batch ko radiation free area mein rakna hai taaki ham logo ko background doses mil jaye report aur wohi report hum uh, collaboration kar sakte hai jo individual report hote hai next thing is we have to keep in mind is uh, the batch what you can see here is wore on uh, not only on the chest level it can it is wore on head finger as well as wrist area also so only those who are working in radiation field that is diagnostic area will only wear the chest level one and those who will work on, on uh, nuclear uh, field or any radiation exposed areas radiotherapy area they are going to use additionally all the badges we have also TLD uh, uh, disease for um, on the eyes which are used mainly for the recording the doses received from the eyes and basically they are used for radiotherapy patients to record how much dose they have received in the eyes also so again i am saying those who are in diagnostic level they will wear the chest one chest wala pen hoge aur uske ke liye apply karoge aur kaha pen hai lead apron ke andar upar nahi theek hai as well as um और बाकी जो एडिशनली बैचेस होता है हैंड फिंगर रिस्ट का जो अब अगर आप रेडिएशन एक्सपोज एरिया में रहोगे या न्यूक्लियर मेडिसिन सो स्ट्रेट अवे फ्रॉम फ्लिम बैच और टीएलडी बैच वी नो अ लॉट नाउ वी विल मूव टू अ नाइस वेरी सोफिस्टिकेटेड डोसीमीटर दैट इज आवर ओ एस एल डी इट्स नेम इज ऑप्टिकली स्टिमुलेटेड लुमिनोसेंस डॉटसीमीटर सो लेट्स गो बैक टी एल डी थर्मोलुमिनोसेंस OSLD, optically stimulated. That means you are going to use the light, optics light, okay, to process and get the image. So here we are not going to use any kind of things like glow curve, but the computer will give us the digital recording. So we are in the era of digital era. So this uh, dosimeter is going to give you records on digital format in the computer. The doses will be same and it is also used for recording X-ray gamma rays and beta rays as well as uh, this will be also helpful in detecting low energy levels that means it can detect radiation from 10 microsievert to high level of 10 sievert so wow it's a nice dosimeter in trend now next thing is while you are going for is processing is that this device is going to be placed on the reader itself again and the, and the reader is same as like as our TLD reader. We are going to put the small chip disc. Small rounded disc will be there. Chips will be there. See you can see the small chips uh, like tablet form. Then you are going to pass the laser light. And slowly it will do a scanning. And it will give you the image. And the main component is it is not going to use CSO4 with uh, DY. It is going to use Al2O3, aluminium oxide, with an activated carbon to produce its image or to record the 
amount of radiation. So the chip will be made up of Al2O3, aluminium oxide. So you can see here, this is the OSLE uh, readout system. So what happens is that the small chips or dicks we put in the reader and then there is a light, which is a green light or a laser light, which is a stimulus. And the same as our electronic valence bond theory, the light excited state from ground state and emission of small blue color light emit. The light detection filter is recorded and gives us PMT. दिया जाता है तो ये है आपके PMT और ये देख सकते हो small small जो chips होते हैं फिर ऐसे ही हमें computer में report के form में आ जाता है so well that was about all OSLD I hope you have all enjoyed so आप एक basic difference देख सकते हैं आप OSLD और TLD में कि OSLD जो होते हैं वो optically stimulated luminescence dosimeter होते हैं और TLD thermal luminescence होते हैं जो ओ एस एल डी होते हैं उसका जो चिप मेटेरियल होता है वो है हमारा ए एल टू ओ थ्री विथ कार्बन एक्टिवेटेड और थर्मोलोमिनोसन टी एल डी का होता है सी एस ओ फोर इस टू डी वाई या एल आई एफ लिथियम फ्लोराइड भी होता है लिथियम फ्लोराइड जो होता है उसका सेंसिटिविटी बहुत अच्छे होते हैं कम्पेयर कम्पेयर टू सी एस ओ फोर चिप्स सो दैट वॉज ऑल अबाउट आवर पर्सनल मोटरिंग डिवाइजेस विच वे आर नॉट गिविंग द इंस्टीट्यूस रिपोर्ट्स बट दिस वे आर गिविंग आज द रिपोर्ट्स for some more purpose of our users only so i hope you have all enjoyed about our um flame batch tld and osld and very soon we are coming with the instantaneous giving report dosimeter that is our pocket dosimeter so keep, so keep watching stay tuned with sleepy radiology and this is silvery here if you like it please press the like and subscribe more and share it also and very sorry for the background music. You can hear the birds chirping here. It was like staying connected to nature. I don't feel that it was getting recorded. Sorry for that.